Sundays are a time for rest and a time for family, but Sundays to me are also about gearing up for the week ahead. As moms, we are the gatekeepers to our homes, and setting myself up for success on a Sunday helps me feel refreshed and ready to tackle the week ahead. While not every Sunday ends with me being totally prepared for the week, my hopes are that these videos inspire you to create your own routines that will help you be prepared for the week ahead. I'm Brittany, this is Mama's Time Out, and I hope you enjoy this video. Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Sunday Refresh. This intro is gonna be very brief because we were gone all day today. So, and I also filmed a cleaning video. So I literally only had a very short list of things that I needed to do. But again, things that are gonna set me up for this week. So I'm taking you along for the ride. I hope this gives you guys some motivation to start your week off on the right foot. Let me know down below, what are some of the things that you're trying to tackle today? Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today's video is my Sunday refresh. However, majority of it is kind of like a plan with me, which I typically don't do on my channel. Um, just because I really needed to get a few things done. I really needed to make sure that I set up December's spread in my um, Erin Condren Life Planner. And I really needed to make sure that I planned out the next week. We're actually hosting Thanksgiving this year, so I know it's going to be crazy, and I just really needed to get my week and everything down on paper. So let me know down in the comments, are you a paper planner? If you are, what kind of planner do you use? If you don't use a planner, do you use a digital planner? Do you fly by the seat of your pants? I'm always so interested to find out how every other mom keeps it together, because seriously, let's face it, we are the brains for our children, for our husband, for our spouse, for um, ourselves, for everything, for doctor's appointments, and sometimes if I don't have it written down, I just don't remember. So let me know, how do you keep your house in order? Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my weekly portion of my planner. I do use the hourly, and I do like it. I don't really use it so much for the times. I really love it because it has lines and I like to make lists in it. So let me know if you're an Erin Condren user, which planner do you use? I used to use a vertical planner, not an Erin Condren. Um, actually in the Recollections brand from Michaels. However, I just felt like I, it was just like too much space, I think, for me. And I just had a really, really hard time. I am a lined person. And as you'll see as I do my planner, since I don't share a lot of these on my channel, I am a very, very functional planner. I only use stickers from Planner Kate or I make them myself since I used to have a planner sticker shop. Um, but I also use planner dashboards and I don't show you one of these in this video But if you're interested, I do have an Etsy shop. I'll leave the link below. They're super cheap downloadable dashboards and They have different backgrounds you choose it comes as an automatic download right to your email or right in Etsy and They are made for so many different things. I have one for grocery shopping for bills, for a debt tracker, um, we have a babysitter's guide. There's so many of them and you can either print them out and use them as you go or you can print them out, cut them, 
to size and then laminate them in a laminator and then punch holes in it and stick it in your planner. That's what I used to use. And then I would write on them with Sharpie and then I would erase with alcohol. I do have a video on my dashboards, so I'll go ahead and link that in the, com the description box below as well um, if you guys are interested and want to check that out. Um, but I think they really, really help me organize my life. And if you're not very good with like list making, it really helps. There's also a brain dump one. Um, there's one just for YouTubers, so if you're another YouTuber watching this, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. Okay, so now I am moving on to my daily planner, and you might say, Brittany, what is with all these planners? So I use an Erin Condren as my main source, and the monthly view gives me a monthly overlook which then I transfer to every week. The weekly gives me a weekly overview and this planner gives me a daily overview. It sounds like overkill, but I am one of those people that I need to make a list every single day and cross things off my list because it's very easy as a mom in general to get discouraged when you think you've got nothing done that day and to feel overwhelmed. So I like to reflect back on my to-do list and realize that I really did get a lot done. I also use this Erin Condren meal planner that I keep in my petite folio. I do really love it. Um, I feel like it's a great piece to have because you can refer back. I also go on Pinterest to find meals, which is what I was doing here. Um, I save some of our favorites, so when I'm stuck in a slump and I don't remember what I like to make, for some reason I either refer to my Erin Condren planner, which in the back has a list of them. I go on my Pinterest or I refer back to this actual meal planner. Um, that's what I love about it because I'm not just writing it on a piece of paper and then throwing it away. All right, so here is an overview of what my weekly starts out as, and then I kind of fill it in during the week. I absolutely love it. I do write my dinners in here as well. And again, it's just so that I have a weekly overview. This is what my monthly spread starts out as. I always put in like the days that my son's gonna have off of school. I have a running to-do list on the side, um, keep track of bills. And then this is the meal planner. And then lastly is my daily petite planner. I absolutely love them, you guys, and I highly recommend them. Next, I had some computer work to get done, so that's what you're gonna see here. I had an email that I had to send for work. I am a school administrator, and there was a class the next day, so I needed to send the students lists and everything to the instructors. So that is what I was doing here. And I'm going to finish my refresh by getting started with my packing of the lunches for the boys because Mondays are super crazy. If I don't pack lunches the night before, I know I'll wake up late and it just starts my day off on the wrong foot. So let me know, are you a nighttime packer for your kids or do you fly by the seat of your pants and pack the lunch in the morning? Alright you guys, that is done. I wanted to show you, I'm just making some of this natural calm. It is in the raspberry lemon flavor. And it's the anti-stress drink. It's vegan, verified non-GMO, and restores healthy magnesium levels. So my husband and I are gonna try it. I'm super excited to try it, I hope it works. But just wanted to share that with you guys. I'll let you guys know next Sunday what I thought of it. Um, in my video, 
But I hope you guys found that this video motivating. And I hope that it inspires you to get your week started off on the right foot. Go tackle something. I am so glad that my, um, just dumping some hot water in these. I'm so glad that my December spread is good in my planner and that I planned for this week. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new. We will see you guys for another Sunday refresh next Sunday. Bye. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night.